Hey there, sign of Leo. My name is Kim, and I'll do your reading for the next 48 hours. This should be for your weekend um, read. So I hope everybody's doing all right. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, um, any kind of support I get with this channel. I appreciate all of you. So we start by calling in divine white light to surround us as we do this reading and surround you as you watch the reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to give us messages that are for the greater good sign of Leo, please. Um, Leo, we're going to start off with the archetype deck, Kim Kran's, um Wild Unknown archetype deck. So here we go. I think we are ready to start. The Orphan. Orphan and the Maiden. <clears throat> the Orphan and the Maiden. Okay, so <clears throat> this is about, the Orphan is about not fitting, not feeling like you fit in. Um, not being comfortable in your own skin. Um, this could be somebody you know, or this could be yourself. Um, the Maiden, the Maiden is part of the archetype um, that involves things like, uh, the princess, the innocent, curious, enchanting, full of vitality. <clears throat> it's the type of the trifecta ma maiden mother crone. So, cause there's a lot to learn. So maybe this person that maybe, like I said, it might be you, maybe this person that doesn't feel like they're fitting in, maybe they are young and just have a lot to learn still. Um, let's see. It says her magic is edgy and includes both shame and delight. Let yourself fall down the rabbit hole, young one. So it says moving from the maiden to the mother is challenging, often leaving unresolved tensions between the two archetypes for years, if not a lifetime. <clears throat> so finding where it's, it's almost like I feel like this goes first, finding where your place is. In, in this trifecta and, and trying to feel comfortable like in your own skin or helping somebody feel comfortable in their own skin. It's something like that. So let's see, let's get some energy cards and see what they have to say for us, Leo. The maiden and the orphan. The orphan feeling out, feeling out of place. Maybe it's time to stop the cycle of feeling out of place, feeling out of place. All right, um, energy cards for Leo. Next 48 hours for Leo, please. Got three cards for you. Let's see what they are. Walking away from something. Walking away from something. Oh, look. Walking away from financial constraints to your cornucopia. That's exactly what it looks like here. Financial constraints, walking away from that type of feeling or that type of um, uh, mindset, that lack mindset, moving away from that and getting everything that you consider to be your abundance. And maybe this is start, this might mean to other people feeling left out in the cold, kind of like the orphan, kind of like the orphan. So let's use the tarot real quick and we are going to look up we're gonna clarify some of these first let's clarify um let's clarify the maiden please for leo the maiden for leo we have the emperor all right so it could be dealing with an aries uh, could be dealing with aries this is this really is about getting your foundation under control so like getting everything under control um, being able to rule, um, the emperor rules over all kings, not just, you know, himself. And the emperor really isn't part of this, the financial constraints. That was a mindset that doesn't have anything to do with the emperor. And it has everything to do with the cornucopia. So for some reason, and maybe there's a conflict between the emperor like figure and the maiden figure. Maybe that's what this deal is. Um, it could be several different things I'm seeing. Let's see, Orphan. Let's get a card for Orphan for Leo. Let's 
All right, heartache. We have heartache, loss, due to a waiting period. Heartache, loss, due to some kind of waiting period. With you, Leo, <laughs> it's with you. Needing to see things from a different perspective might help this person. If this is you, might help you. So brokenhearted, waiting, having the courage to fix, fix, maybe? Family matters, dealing with family matters, family ties, could be dealing with a Virgo. <clears throat> so this person that feels left out, not really fitting in, it's due to a broken heart that they occurred while they're waiting for, it seems like while they're waiting for Leo to see things from a different perspective, and it's like coming back to your roots, coming back to your roots, maybe to fix things. Maybe to fix something. Maybe to fix something like the emperor would. Like the emperor would. All right. Um, financial constraints. Let's get a card for that. Yeah, see, I told you. There's going to be a death to this uh, mentality, that financial constraints. There's a death to it. Transformation. It's going to transform into something abundant. And it's going to do so through the high priestess energy, which is your intuition. It's something maybe that you just know is happening or is going to happen. Maybe you just know this is gonna happen. I feel like you might just know this is gonna happen. <laughs> Why don't I just say that, right? And the divine is helping out. The divine is gonna step in and help out. So you might have a Scorpio, Pisces, or um, this just might be you. I feel like it's you or somebody around you that's getting out of this financial constraints. We're walking away from this mindset. So we're not thinking on lack. We're not thinking about what we lack. We're thinking only about what we want. This can be physically walking away, but I think personally, I think it's for the financial constraints. I think it's walking away from a lack mindset. You know, that mindset that also says to you, um, money's the root of all evil, stuff like that. That's, that's not going to serve you. Think, believing in that is not going to serve you because the money, money could be used for something good, right? It could be used to benefit people. So that statement that your that belief is, you know, founded on is not really true at all, but it does shape and mold your life, what you believe. All right, so let's look at, I, I think this is, like I said, this is either physical or this is mental, leaving a certain state. Cornucopia. Let's get something on a cornucopia. Whoa. <laughs> All right. So this has been a theme, Leo, for you. <clears throat> persevering, persevering on something. There's something that you're going after, something that you're going after, and you need the perseverance, you need the courage to go for it, go for it. And this is the Six of Pentacles. So it's like giving and taking that energy. It's ne something that needs to be balanced out that I think your cornucopia is going to help balance out. Um, do your, you, whatever you're going to receive um, at, from what you've sown. So these are things that you, you have done, you know, the kindness that you've put out into the world. These things will come back to you. I think this specifically is about material um, it's about your cornucopia. So, so that's what I've got, Leo. We have um, some interesting characters that seem to be turning their lives around. Some people that seem to be influenced by the ones that are around them. And also influenced by old belief systems that we're going to change and get rid of so that we can get our abundance. That is a guardian angel card for you. Angel of Learning. Maybe this was all a big learning experience for you. Let me look this up. Number 19. Let me look this up for you, Leo. All right. Everything's really a learning experience, but um, it says here, learning is part of my spiritual growth. The more I learn, the greater my connection is to the wonders of the universe says, knowledge is ageless and it gives me intellectual power. My angel of learning is guiding me in the right direction to learn what is important for my future spiritual growth. 
So this is about asking your angels to guide you in the right direction to assist like the next teacher that you're gonna get, the next course of study, um, whatever kind of learning that you're undertaking to push you in the right direction. So that's what I've got for your 48 hours. Um, join me for the weekly next. Thank you.